Welcome back. Jamaica's cultural influence, particularly music and dance on the international mainstream pop culture, is unmistakable. But what is perhaps most striking is the sparsity of Jamaicans taking ownership of this incredible incursion. My guest in this segment, through the discipline of dance, prides herself as the cultural ambassador, creative master, who goes beyond the ordinary to project the greatness of Jamaica's culture. She's here to help us right now, right here on our stage, to understand what's behind the sparsity of Jamaican faces exploiting this new paradigm in global music. Her name is Donna Ray, who is right now on our stage. Donna hey, Ray. how are you doing? <laughs> so good to have you. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, so where's home, by the way, first of all? Where's home Well, for home you? is always going to be Jamaica, mm -hmm. but I'm residing in the United States. Okay, all right. All right, so expound on your credentials for me, your background a little more. Well, um, I'm an award-winning artistic director. Mm -hmm. um, I have done um, stage shows, um, productions such as the Apollo. Um, I have won my award through the Jamaica International World Music Awards. Mm -hmm. um, I have done um, movies mm -hmm. and also done um, creating platforms and competitions and, and such and such for creating a paveway for Jamaican dancers. Okay, so what are you most um, occupied with these days? Well, I'm occupied with um, what is it now is pretty much structuring and creating a, a, a lifeline for our culture mm -hmm. um, pertaining to developing platforms. You yes. know, the, the championships that we did last year, mm -hmm. we had actually did the Dundam World Cup Championship Battle. Actually, that is a platform that we had created by Jamaicans to kind of bring together our, our, our culture mm. with other cultures in Europe on one platform. With your eyes on the international mainstream. Absolutely. Right. Right. Um, are you getting, making progress with this? Well, um, well, we went to Europe and of course, you know, our culture mm -hmm. is huge. Um, the market is behind our dance is, is, is almost phenomenal. Um, we have everybody swarming onto the culture. A lot of culture enthusiasts yes. is swarming onto this this, this phenom, this, this new thing, which mm -hmm. is dancing, yes. which is dance hall, mm -hmm. of what we, we don't look on it as Jamaican, we, we, we undermine it. We push it under the carpet and say, oh, yeah. But at the end of the day is that we have the international market is feeling, feeling for our culture. Mm -hmm. And we sit here and just easy. Right, so when we see our dance moves and when we hear our, our lyrics and and dance or styling in international mainstream. Right. We're not seeing Jamaican faces. There you go. Help us with that. Right. So this is a situation is that it comes on the development mm -hmm. and professionalism. We have to create a, a structuring body and development um, structure for our dancers to become more professional. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why you may not see our own people, our own dancers are, are being shown or being, you know, to, 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 that, to that kind of body mm -hmm. because we are not we're not developed the, the, the culture the dancers are not developed they, they dance they dance well <laughs> yes but the thing is that we are not developed they need development in choreography yes business mm -hmm. you know the art form is is, is phenomenal the discipline generally the discipline, speaking the discipline right, of dance discipline, right yeah it's the discipline is missing from our culture yes and it's the reason why it's like okay i'm just doing something to just do something to make some money to do some workshops and then that's it Okay. What, what about our development structure for our business? Mm -hmm. And how are we going to structure this thing, you know? Like in the United States, I learned from the United States. Okay. Um, everything is be, being developed and structured. Now, if you're an actor, you're in the actor's rep union. Yes. So we need a union body, a body that represents our culture, dance culture. Mm -hmm. You know? So we need some, something that embodies. Should that be here in Jamaica or could it be anywhere? Um, it has to be here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Only because it's a, it's a structuring body that we need that here. Yes. Because the, the, the foundation and the roots is here. What we're doing as an organization, Rockers of Jamaica, we are taking the beauty of our culture, what we have, and creating this whole art. And the world wants it. Yes. It, oh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's a lot. What, it, I've been doing this for years. Um, when I started my, my company, um, Dances Boulevard, originally before we started Rockers, um, it was to foster the art form, to make it attractive 
-hmm. When we talk about choreography, we're talking about stage, light, costume, mm -hmm. action. Just like what they do it in the States, it's the same thing. It's the same movement. It's the only thing is our expressions. Yes. We need to put more, 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 more funding and resources within the community of these youths that needs that have this great talent. And when you look now in Europe, who's doing all the workshops? They're doing all the workshops. Who's doing all the performances? They're doing all the performances. Who's benefited? Not us. Yes. That's and it's, it's not good. That's my observation. Right. Hence why we wanted you to help us to send the word out there because the talent is, is in abundance in Jamaica. Very much so. And you're right. It's not organized. It's not organized. The, the discipline isn't there. Right. Pause for a minute. Let's give our viewers a little synopsis okay. of some of your work. We got the Donna Ray Rock Cars. Rock Who the hell are you? No. All right, so that's just a synopsis of some of the work from Donna. And that's what she's doing all over the world for the dance, for Jamaican dance, Jamaica's popular dance. And you're talking about organization, Donna, right. and you're talking about structure. Who are you calling on? In, uh, you say it should, be, it should start here in Jamaica. Who are you calling on I'm calling for support? Who for must support. be part of this? I'm calling on the Minister of Culture. Yes. I'm calling on JCDC, mm -hmm. which they are also one of our endorsers, JCDC. Um, and we're calling on all the culture and bodies. And to the youngsters in Jamaica, mm -hmm. the dancing community, the dancers, those <laughs> inner yes. city youths who, right. who, who have it, Right. In abundance. Right. You say what right now? I say that we need to unite. We need to come together as a nation, as a dancers. We need to come together and understand what we have and mm -hmm. foster it and protect it and cherish it. Mm -hmm. So our generations to come could understand we had a legacy that we left behind for you to take over yes. and to keep the roots and our foundation alive. A group of dancers um, with you at the moment, where are they? Where are they from? <laughs> well, most of them is from Ocho Yes. Um, I have a few also in Kingston. Um, Rockers, Rockers Jamaica is the, is the body in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And um, these are unique rockers um, that is from Ocherius mainly. And we also have other founding bodies such as Queen Leticia and other dancers that actually help us to kind of structure our tours and certain things to kind of uplift. So you take them on tour with you? Yeah, we go on tour together. The so, last tour that we mm -hmm. went was Queen Leticia, Jalivia, and um, Miss Master Overdose, who was from Jamaica, and it was very important for us to bring our DJ mm -hmm. from Jamaica to the tour, mm -hmm. so they could see how was it mixed, and how was the expressions, and the, the mixing, and all that stuff is embodied within the dancing. It's not just, mm -hmm. okay, they're just dancing. It's the mixing, the, the sound, how we say it, all those things. Where in Jamaica are you from? Tell Montego us quickly, Bay. you're from Mobe. Yes. Yeah, and there are so many dancers <laughs> from Montego Bay. And yes. Marvin, the Marvin. dancer, is from there. <laughs> what do you think of his moves, though? Oh, all right. He should be channel, right? <sighs> channel. Marvin should be in in these in one of these structures that you're talking about. Marvin is is one of our our bodies. However, is is to me, is I think it's as like he said, it's an act. Yeah. This is not. This is not. Let's not call that dancing. It mm. is not dancing. He just used the dance hall space to act out this mm. thing that he's doing, right? So most people look at that, they're like, oh my God, dance all this, dance all that. That's one person just doing that. If they show this on TMZ in the United States, they're not gonna show the good part of our culture. They're gonna take that and like, well, look what you're doing. Is this dancing? Oh my God. They're gonna make fun of what we're doing. And that's where the problem is. It's a good, you're a great dancer. But I just think it's something that he, I just don't know. It's just. But if, if <laughs> the question I guess I'm asking is, is if there is structure, right? And Jamaican dancers are moving up, moving forward, being paid, mm -hmm. careers in dance were mm -hmm. being created. Wouldn't a Marvin be using that energy? Because what I see in Marvin is too much energy for the street. Right. And shouldn't wouldn't that be 
utilized in the, in the in Absolutely. I, there's many ways to utilize our art form in Jamaica. I feel your passion, Dana Ray. <laughs> yes. It's so good to have you on our Thank stage. Thank you. Thank you. I hope our space, especially the youths in Jamaica, they're learning from this, and they're preparing, ready to take it to them, so to speak, to take their rightful place, to hone what is theirs that is now inundated international mainstream music. Take it, Jamaican youths, you can do it. Like you see in bold. Yes. Take running to them. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. Still to come, Tommy Lee continues to battle his legal demons. And later, I obtain explains why he's not closing Reggae Sunfest Dance All Night 2016. And Jamil is also in the mix, getting ready to perform on his biggest platform ever. All coming up right here on our stage. Hear me no song, no boy no bada danja, none of them no bada danja, I know. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Well, you know, there's so much more where that came from. And all you have to do is to click, subscribe, and be on stage, always. To endure that kind of conversation about even my own progress and, oh boy, you know, I get the ratings while you forget, until I start realize there's no such thing as the rating where you forget. Mm. Which rating may forget? There's no such okay. thing. 